Welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video today. I'm going to be going over everything that I bought for our new golden retriever puppy. So he's actually in the room right now, just right over there. If you see me looking that direction, it's just because he's just so cute and I can't stop staring at him. Um, his name is Fox. F-O-X-E is how we decided to spell it. He is currently nine weeks old and he is just the sweetest little boy. Um, he's a handful, puppies are a lot, <laughs> um, but I couldn't be more happy. I'm so excited that we have him. Uh, so today I'm gonna go over everything that I've bought for him because we got, I'm sure, a lot of things that you wouldn't normally, you don't need to have a puppy, but I'll show you everything uh, and point out which ones I think are essential to have. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing that I thought was really essential is his crate. So he is being crate trained. I know there's a lot of controversy over it, but um, I just want him to be in a safe place uh, when we can't be supervising him. Um, and he has so far, he loves his crate. <laughs> he would rather sleep in his crate than with us almost any day. Um, whenever he's tired, he already is hopping into it for his naps. Uh, and we've only had him for about a week. So, so far I'm really happy with how crate training is going. Um, as you can see in his crate, we have a Kong bed. I bought this bed for in his crate because it's supposed to be more durable than like your average bed. And obviously puppies chew a lot. So we're monitoring how he does with a bed in here. If he is chewing on it a lot, we may have to remove it. He hasn't gone like chewed on it a lot yet. So we're leaving it in there for now. He seems to really like it in there. Um, we will see how it goes. We did get a crate that um, we got a large crate that will fit him at full size, but it has a divider in it. So right now it's set, as you can see right there, it's set so that um, he can't get access to the whole crate. So it's about enough space just for him to kind of turn around, be comfortable, uh, sleep in there, but not giving him enough room that he has an area to potty as well in his crate. We are getting up still multiple times throughout the night, to let him out, make sure that he's getting ample potty breaks. So far he hasn't had too many accidents um, and all his accidents have been totally our fault. So <laughs> that was our first essential to have for him was his crate. Our second essential has been our playpen. So we have our crate up in the bedroom and then we have a playpen down in the living room. So this is our playpen here. On the bottom here is, uh, it's an absorbent reusable potty pad. So he's not, we're not potty training him to use the pads as an option, but um, we have it there just in case for accidents. Um, yeah, and it's a, we chose to get one of the reusable ones because they're a little less easy to tear apart. Uh, he hasn't really chewed, like tried to chew on it at all. So it's really great. I've actually got one up here beside me too. We bought them off Amazon. Um, they came in a pack of two. They're really large. So they just look like that on the absorbent side. And then on the back side, they've got some stickiness to them so they don't spread around. And like, they're really big. They're, um, so we've got those two as uh, some preventative measures. Again, we're not actually training him to use the pads as a potty option, but um, just as a preventative, we have the option. The next thing on my essentials list will be this uh, silicone mat that he has down with his water bowl and normally his food bowl here too. Um, we're actually feeding him most of his meals in his playpen uh, on, in our living room, but his water is always over here on the silicone mat and eventually his uh, food dish will always be there too. So I just really like the silicone mat because it's saving our floors. He, when he drinks water, he splashes a lot of water around. He is definitely a water dog and quite loves it. So we like having that silicone mat underneath it too. If he were to spill his water dish, it would spill hopefully on the mat. Those are currently all the essentials that I don't have up here in the room with me. I'll go over everything else. Uh, we have him on a the Hills Science food right now. Um, for large breed puppies, just because that's what he was started on 
uh, by his breeder so we just want to continue with that at least for now we see our vet in a couple of weeks and we'll talk about any other food options there may be um, we just didn't want to mess with his diet too much as he's already transitioning into a new house so that's what he's eating right now we will see if that's what sticks or not yeah we have this bag here I would say it's filled with mostly essentials uh, this is what we are calling his go bag so this is his bag that we take with us um, whenever we leave the house especially if we're gonna leave for uh, a large amount of time oh speaking of other essentials in our car um, I'll show you a little clip of we have like a hammock back seat to protect our back seat and he does have a seat belt so we just have a seat belt that plugs right into the seat belt on in our car and then clips right onto his harness um, I do think that a crate is your best option when you're traveling in the car but he is gonna be a pretty big boy and the crate that would fit him at full grown just wasn't gonna fit in our car so we've opted for the seat belt option um, so he's got a seat belt he's got his hammock cover and then he does have a dog bed in the back seat as well because again he's a spoiled boy um, <laughs> We noticed when we were first driving around with him he was kind of sliding around a little bit on the hammock so we put the bed back there just so that he can have a little bit more grip so he really likes the bed being back there he's traveling even better with it since we've had him the last week he's been pretty good in the car but the bed has definitely helped so if you're noticing that with your dogs that your dogs are sliding around a lot uh, you can put a blanket down or a bed down just to keep an eye on them make sure they're not chewing it up we would never obviously leave him alone um, with the bed in the back seat we're always able to watch him normally we're both in the car my husband and I so someone's able to keep an eye on him but for the most part he will maybe cry for four or five minutes um, sometimes up to like 10 and then he settles right down and then he's asleep in the back seat of the car so so far car doing pretty well anyways this is our go bag so it's just a lululemon bag that i would have got at the store when i picked up clothes um and this just has all of the things that we need to bring with us when we go somewhere so in here i don't necessarily think that these are specifically essentials but i think that they are very handy so we got him these pop-up bowls so they just expand and then flatten down again I really don't think they're essential you could definitely just bring your water and food dish when you're out and about but we figured that these were really handy to have kind of in his bag he can just take with him wherever we then always have a water bottle that we fill up so then if at any point in time we need to stop and give him water we always have it available to us this food bag here um, it's by Wilder Dog we got a couple of things from them and we really like it um, so it's just like this big bag like this. Uh, it's like a water resistant, pretty durable material on the inside. It's for dog food and then you just roll it up and clip it closed whenever you're done filling it. So this is what we've been taking with us if we think that we're going to be out around one of his meal times. He is eating three times a day so if we're out and about and we think that he's going to need to get fed we can just throw this in our bag with us. Um, we've got the two dishes, the water and the food that all go with us. We also have in here, this is like our treat pouch. Um, it's actually just a Lululemon fanny pack but I'm using it as a treat pouch. We'll see how long it works um, like that. In it I have a little stasher bag, uh, just like a silicone reusable bag filled with dog treats. Um, I don't think that having this is necessarily essential but I do think having a treat pouch is. So I would pick up a treat pouch. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Lululemon one. Honestly it was actually not that bad of a price. That's why I wanted to go with a little bit of a cuter one. Um, we also have a clicker in here. We are clicker training him. So we have a few clickers throughout the house. We actually have four. Um, this is just his little um, going out bag, especially once we start walking, it'll be really handy. So I've just got treats, my clicker. I can throw my phone in here. There's like this back zipper pocket that it fits in perfectly. Um, and then it just straps around my waist. So it's perfect for when we're out and about again especially once he's fully vaccinated and we can start going for walks so i'm really excited about that in the rest of our bag here we have these wipes 
from Wild One. I they're okay. I bought them because I was buying some toys from Wild One, which I'll show you in a little bit here. But I just think they're a pretty strong scent, and I don't really feel like that's necessary. Um, I know it says like a lightly scented with eucalyptus, but they're quite strongly scented in my opinion. Um, so I probably won't buy them again just because I don't think that that strong of a scent is really necessary, but we'll see. We'll see how we react to it too. It does say biodegradable, hypoallergenic, human grade, vegan, no chemicals, natural cleanser, no more artificial colors or fragrances, sulfate, paraben, cruelty free, alcohol free. So we'll see how he does with them. If he doesn't like how scented they are, we won't purchase them again. If he's okay with them, they're not too bad of a wipe. The last couple things in his bag here are these little glass containers. They're just from Ikea. They're just like a little um, snap top container. Don't wanna make that too loud because he already knows the sound of these, but we just use these to store treats in. We actually have quite a few of them around the house. We always have one in his bag to go out, one upstairs in our bedroom near his bedtime crate, uh, one downstairs in our living room, and then we normally just have one to kind of bring with us wherever we need to go with it. It's been really handy because then there's always treats on hand if we need to jump into a training session or if he does something really good that we want to praise him. We just always have treats available to work with him. Another thing we've been carrying in our bag are these sweet potato chews. Um, he really likes these, just helps him be entertained if he's a little bored, if we're out and about and he's uh, struggling just to be entertained. We give him one of these. They're working pretty well. They feel a lot safer than a lot of like the bones and chews that you can get because it won't splinter or break off. Um, but we will see how he continues to like them as he gets older. So far, they're pretty great. The only ingredient is sweet potato, so I really like that. Um, yeah, that's another thing that we have for him. A couple other, I would say, essentials are his like care options so we have this little bin here it's just from ikea it's got a lid for it and it's just what we keep underneath our sink for his um, grooming care we've got two different brushes one's a slicker brush and one's more like a human hair brush for his uh, longer hair as he grows out um, so we've got those two brushes we have his toothbrush and his toothpaste. We haven't had to, or we haven't used the toothpaste yet. We're just trying to get him used to the toothbrush for now. Um, but we do have those things as well. And then I know this might not be, I guess, necessarily essential for everyone because I know a lot of people will just use a groomer um, for toenails, but we did opt to buy a little pair of toenail clippers. Eventually, we would like to get one of those toenail Dremels, just because I think that they're a little more gentle and these kind of scare me a little bit, but I really at least wanted them just to practice. I know eventually we'll probably take him to a groomer, but I want him to be as used to all of the grooming things as possible. So I do have, oh, I actually don't have them with me, but I do have a pair of like scissors, shears for him. And then I have these and those other grooming tools. So even if I am taking him to a groomer, I'm getting him used to these things before they're necessary. So we've already worked a little bit with the clippers. So far, everything's been going pretty well. Another cool thing we got is this um, lick pad. So on this side, you can put peanut butter or meat or something yummy on it. And then on the other side, it's got all these little sticky things. So it's great for in the bathtub or if you're grooming him and you, we just need him to stay still, um, we can put some yummy things on it. It'll stick to the side of the bathtub or to our hardwood floor um, and keep him nice and entertained. So that's it for his grooming supplies. I would say they're essentials, but it probably depends on what your plans are for grooming or what type of dog you have. With um, Fox being a golden retriever, we know that grooming is gonna be a high priority. So we have a lot of grooming supplies with some maybe shorter hair dogs or things like that. You may not necessarily need to have grooming supplies because um, you're just gonna take them to a groomer. But this is what we have. I would say it's essential for us and essential for our puppy, but may not be essential for you. This is his little basket for his leashes, his collar, his harness, all of his 
um, items for going out. So I think that the only things that you necessarily need in this category would be a collar, a harness, and a leash. That's it. We have a couple of each of those items, which I don't necessarily think is um, necessary. We originally got him this little harness. It was for when we first got him. It's just little and tiny because we knew that he was going to be quite tiny. Um, he found it a little uncomfortable. He didn't really like these metal pieces kind of right on his shoulder. Uh, so I'll take a little clip of him in the harness that he's in now, which is his go-to harness. Um, we have an RC Pets harness. That's what we've been using for him every day. He didn't fit it when we first brought him home, but he's growing into it quite well. So that's what we've been using for him. He also has a couple different leashes. This leash here is his puppy leash. Um, we're calling it that because he's already started to chew it. So we figured it would just be dedicated to puppy years and the leash chewing. And then hopefully once we can stop that in, I guess, a year or so, um, we can probably, honestly, we'll probably repurchase this leash because we do really like it. It's like a silicone um, fabric and it's by Wilder Dog. Um, so it's super easy to clean. It doesn't get wet, it doesn't get soggy. It's a super awesome leash. He quite enjoys chewing on it as well. Uh, so for now, it's this is puppy leash. This is our go-to leash for him, as well as his harness. On the end of it here, we just have our little poop bag. It's from Wild One, uh, with Wild One um, puppy, what are these called? Potty bags, poop bags, puppy poop bags. Uh, so this is what we kind of have as our go-to situation right now. And then we do have his collar here that has his name and my phone number on it. So it's got his tag there and then it's got his other tag here uh, with his um, microchip number on it. I feel like that's all that you really need for things when you first get a puppy, but we have quite a few other leashes as well. So we have this leash here. I actually originally got it with a FabFitFun box. It's a wild one leash. Uh, we have another wilder dog leash. I really like this one. It's a, um, they use climbing rope to make their leashes and I really like the pattern and design on it. I also really like the locking carabiner that it uses. We have this small locking carabiner and then this larger one. Let's see there. So this is the one that we have on the leash. And then this one I was planning on using to attach him to me, which I still probably will, but that's all that we have. We've got those ones there. We then have two, they came in a pack of two, just like cheap 10 foot leashes. So there's a black and a blue one there. These are just gonna be for like training leashes. Um, we will probably start using one around the house as he's allowed to get a little farther away from us in the house. And then when we start going to parks or things like that and we want him to be off leash, but I would never actually have him off leash. This just gives us a little bit more freedom to work on uh, fetch or come or things like that. Um, yeah, so we've got those two leashes there. I also have this other little poop bag thing. I haven't hooked it onto any leash yet, but I probably will have it on another leash once we have kind of multiple things going on. <laughs> once he's out of that phase and we can move on from just using the same leash that he's already bitten up. Um, these are the Wild One poop bags. I didn't realize there was only 10 bags per roll. So you go through them very quickly when we live in a townhouse and we have to pick up his poo every time he goes on our yard because we don't have a huge backyard. Um, and then once we start going out to the park that's right beside our house, we're gonna have to pick it up anyways. So we'll be picking up most of his poo all of the time. Um, and these 10 bags just goes by so fast. So I'm trying to find a compostable um, poop bag that has more bags per roll. The last thing in his uh, leash and other items kit is his paw jam. So this is just if their little paw pads are dry or irritated, um, you can put a little bit of this on it and it keeps it moisturized. So we haven't had to use that yet, but there's just a few ingredients in it. Uh, beeswax, mango butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, aloe vera oil, calendula oil, and vitamin E. 
It's a super simple little ingredients list. I'm really excited to be able to use this. Maybe when he like, when we go to the beach and we come home and his paws can be dry from the sand, we'll plan on using this. Uh, it's another wilder dog item as well. I'll also try and link everything that I can think of below. Um, I can't remember where everything came from, but I will do my best so that you can have access to anything that you like from this video. Let's go into some treats and uh, I guess like food items over here. So we have a couple different treats for him. We're trying out to see what he likes. Um, we really like the freeze dried treats. So we've got some Acana brand and Nutrient Sub-Zero. Um, we're just trying out whatever we can kind of get our hands on. <laughs> I prefer the more like one ingredient treats. So that's what we have for now. Um, and he really liked, we actually had some um, fish freeze dried treats. I think it was tuna. I can't remember what the three fish were, but he really liked those. So maybe we'll see if we can pick them up those again. We kind of keep our treats around the house, like I mentioned before, in these containers. So you can see there's some treats in both of those. We also, um, our breeder recommended that we use some pureed pumpkin, especially for his first few nights at home. So this is the pumpkin patch pureed pumpkin um, stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I know that it can come in a can as well, but because we were traveling right when we first got him, uh, we needed something a little more portable. So this was nice because there was about two or even three servings kind of in a bag for him because he's so little. Um, so we didn't have to try and store it for a long period of time. Uh, we weren't needing to use very much, just like a little bit on top of his food. I don't know if it made a difference. He had pretty good poops right from the time we got him. He only had one right when we first picked him up. His very first poo was a little more runny. Since then, they've been really great. I don't know if it was the pumpkin puree. Um, if it wasn't, I'm so happy I got it. If it was, even better. Uh, he also just really liked the flavor. So I wasn't too upset about trying that out. Another treat thing we got, definitely not an essential, but I got him this uh, like treat cookie jar almost. It's kind of like a seal on the top. I got this so that I can try and make him some puppy cookies. Um, I'm really excited just to try that out. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I haven't used this yet. I just got it from HomeSense. We also got a couple of cleaning products. This one here, the Folex Instant Carpet Stain Remover. We haven't had to use yet because he hasn't had a lot of accidents cross our fingers. We're doing pretty well at taking him out when he needs to. He's getting better. He's starting to ask to go out, which is super awesome. I definitely didn't think that he'd pick it up this fast. Um, yeah, but he's a pretty good boy. Then we also got this dog urine destroyer because I know when they do have accidents, which he has had a couple, our fault, but he has had a couple, um, you just want to make sure that the urine scent is gone or else they can keep kind of coming back to the same spot. So these are two cleaning products that we got. Again, haven't had to use this, but I'm sure we will in the future. Before I get into toys, I have two products that I know are not essential at all, but um, they were for us and for my peace of mind. The first one is we got this Wise Cam. It's not a puppy or a pet specific camera, but it's a indoor outdoor um like security camera it's got pretty good picture i'll try and put like a clip in of me recording with it um it's got pretty good picture night and day it's got a night mode on it it works pretty well it's got two-way communication so i can hear him and he can hear me if we needed to um again it's not pet specific so there's no like treat toss or anything like that but overall pretty good camera as he's allowed to be more free in the house, um, probably about in a year or so, uh, we'll probably purchase more or even as we upgrade him from like being in his crate to being in a whole room and things like that, um, we'll probably get some more of these just so I can keep an eye on him in the house. So I really like that. Another thing we got him that I know is completely not essential and is way too big for him right now and I'm really looking forward to the day that he fits it, um, but is this life jacket. So we are going to try and teach Fox how to sit on a paddleboard. Um, 
obviously if he doesn't like it it's not going to be forced on him but we're going to see if we can convince him to like it so we got him this life jacket at least for when he's first going out um we just got it in a medium he's probably like a small right now but he's growing so fast and I'm not quite ready to put him on the paddleboard on the water yet when he's so little. So we're going to practice at home quite a bit on the paddleboard and then see how it goes. Um, yeah, hopefully he enjoys it. We are hoping that it'll go well, but we'll see. We'll see what he likes. I'm not going to force him to do anything. That's a pretty scary thing. But so far, he loves the water. So I think that he'll be pretty good with the paddleboard. Last section of things to look at are his toys. And this is an area that we definitely went overboard on. Uh, this is his toy basket. We wanted to have the option to kind of put his toys away and rotate them through, make sure that he only has out a few at a time because I don't want him to get bored of them and then them not be as easy to entertain him. I'll go kind of through which ones I have here. We also got really lucky and my aunt's dog, they've been getting bark boxes for the last like year or so and her dog doesn't really play with toys that much. She's got her few favorites, but for all the ones that she doesn't play with, we got to have them. So I'll tell you which ones I actually purchased and I'll show you which ones came from bark boxes because then you could kind of see too if you like the bark box looking toys. Um, this one here is his whale. He's also got a moose. These are his two like soft toys. He hasn't had this one quite yet because it's a little bit big. He does have a smaller version of it as well that's currently in his crate when he sleeps at night. Um, he hasn't chewed it too much. Uh, this one's a little bit softer. This was also in his crate at night. We're thinking of phasing these out though, because I am worried about him chewing them up. So far though, he hasn't done much damage. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how it goes, uh, if we need to remove those or not. This here is from a bark box. So this little mummy guy, he does really love it though. Like I would say, honestly, this is probably his favorite toy right now. I'm not gonna squeak it cause he's napping over there, but it has an intense squeaker and it's actually holding up better than I thought it would being as fuzzy as it is. Uh, but yeah, he really likes this toy. We got him this little, little chili. Uh, it's got like a rope on the end and then it's just fabric and it does have a squeaker in it as well. He really likes chewing on the ropes. I think that it really helps with his um, little baby teeth. Uh, so he's got a couple rope options. He's also got this little one here that my aunt gave us. It'll be too small for him quite quickly, but at this moment, it's the perfect size. Uh, we always monitor him, especially with this one because of these fluffs on the end. So far, he doesn't chew on them, but we will see what happens. We have a couple rubber toys. So these are like for his outside playing toys. We don't really bring his soft toys out. This one here came out of a bark box that my aunt gave me. Um, this one here we bought, this little cactus. He actually quite enjoys it. Um, but yeah, this is just for outside. We did get him two of these blue puppy Kongs. So I've got one here and then there's one downstairs. Um, they're super great because they're softer than the original Kong. So they're better for puppy teeth. Um, we can fill them with treats and yummy things, uh, frozen puppy safe peanut butter or things like that to help entertain him. Um, we haven't used them too much yet, but we definitely plan on using them quite a bit in the future. Another three toys I'm super excited about are these wild one toys. Um, they're a little bit heavy, so I haven't given them to him yet, but I'm sure that they will be a big hit when he gets bigger. So one is just like this ball with these lines on it. It's supposed to make it so it bounces kind of unpredictably. It also has a hole in the middle for treats to go in. And then this is the bolt toy, um, just a chew, like a rubber chew that I'm excited for. And then this rope tug toy that I'm also really excited for. Uh, these three toys are my favorites in his set of toys, but he isn't allowed to have them yet again, just cause they're kind of a heavier rubber. So I'm not sure if he's quite ready for them, but eventually for sure. Just a couple more things. He's got these balls. Um, we haven't used them too much yet because he's not allowed to go to the park yet. He's not fully vaccinated. 
um, and we again don't have a very big lawn right now so we haven't really used them I'm thinking I'm gonna start using the tennis balls in the house just so they can get used to chasing it and start working on some fetch because I'm really hoping that we can be good fetch dogs um, so I'm really excited to use this in the future I also got him this Kong ball I don't think that he's going to be using it quite yet because it is like the regular size and it's quite firm so um we will see when he gets to use this one but it'll probably be when he's a little bit bigger i think that that's it for all of his toys i can't think of anything else that we've gotten him i think that that's it for everything that we've bought for him um oh he's gotta go out let's go let's go okay we're back we had to go for a potty break I did actually find while I was downstairs too a couple other of the bark box toys that my aunt had given me. I'd forgotten I'd kind of put them up out of the way, but just in case you want to see kind of what the bark box toys look like. Um, so there's this passport. It's really cute. It's crinkly toy. Um, that looks really fun. This little backpack. I'm assuming they probably came from the same um, box because I know they're often themed so it's probably a travel box. I also have this uh, little hockey jersey, this little Canadian hockey jersey. I think this is so cute. Again another crinkle toy. It says woof on the back. Um, we haven't actually let him play with those yet but we probably will soon. Uh, so those are exciting. Um, if you like any of those you could look at the bark box option. I almost forgot to mention his Nyla Bone kit. So it's a puppy starter kit. Um, so it's got like a step process. So this is his first one here. Um, it's just the start with this one and then they graduate to this one once they have their full adult teeth. And then this one is for, I believe it's once they have their, for puppy six months or older, but it's an edible chew. So this has been also quite a lifesaver. He really enjoys to chew on his Nyla bone. And honestly, so far, it's like holding up really well. So I've been really impressed with this. So definitely something that we have um, very much enjoyed in our puppy process. Anyways, <laughs> I don't exactly know where I was, but um, I think that that's it that I had to show you. A couple of things I think we're gonna be looking at in the future are some more like toys, or not toys, um, like food games. Like I really wanna get him one of those mats that have like all the little felt flappy pieces that you can hide food in. Um, yeah, so I think that those are a couple other things we wanna get him just some more activity items, some food activities. But that's it for now. Please comment down below if you think there's anything missing from my list. I'm always super happy to hear any other options or things that you found worked really well for your puppies. Also, any questions you have below, um, just let me know. Uh, he's starting to look a little awake over there, so I maybe need to go play with him a bit. Hey, Fox, you wanna come show the people? Hi, Fox. This is him. This is Fox. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, this is my little fur baby. Uh, he's still a little bit tired, but I think he's gonna be waking up soon for a good play. Uh, anyways, I'll see you next time. <laughs>